Hi, guys. How are you? Hi, Darlene. Hi, how are you? I'm doing well. Hi, Jim. How are you doing? Hey. Well, so we're actually having this conversation um, after we've broadcast up to episode four. Um, I think I've seen uh, up to seven so far, and I, I, I sound like a broken record now when I say I am over the moon proud to be involved in this project in any way. Uh, it is so beautifully done. Jim, on the technical side, it, it's just brilliant. And, uh, and, and I love the story. And I said to someone the other day, other day, Darlene, one of my favorite things in the whole series that I've seen so far is the expression on your face the first time we see you. <laughs> it's brilliant. And, uh, and I just wanted to, uh, because there's so much to come that, that people don't know about yet. And you kind of encapsulate to me sort of, you know, one of, one of these really challenging issues that I think the play struggles with. So would you mind talking just a little bit about um, your thoughts about your character and then, um, you know, you, your, um, and also how it was working not only with Jim, but with everyone else and, and this new process? Oh, sure. Uh, well, you know, Sheila, I like to call her SBW, strong black woman. You know, she doesn't take any crap. She knows who she is. She knows what she wants and she goes after it. Um, and I love the way she handles Annie. Like every time you see her, she's just like, oh, Annie. <laughs> that face. <laughs> but um, this, yeah, I absolutely adore this project. I think it is so incredible. Uh oh, we lost your your. So um, go back to I absolutely absolutely adore this project. Yes, I absolutely adore this project. What Jim was able to do, creating movie magic, and I mean, I I have a hard time speaking about it because I get so many thoughts in my head about it because I have never done. Oh, I don't think any of us have ever done anything like this. So just to be a part of this and with everything going on. It's like, okay, we're looking at real life right here because we're like living this. And I actually work in a school. Ah. So this was very like hitting close to home for me in that way, because I've seen what these teachers have gone through and oh my God, teachers are the most amazing human beings. They really love those kids. Like I've never, it's different when you're a kid and you're in school and you know, you either loved school or you hated school or you had a good teacher or you had a bad teacher, but you don't really get to see the inside, like the other side. And for me, that has been extremely eye opening. So going into this project was like, oh, yeah, <laughs> teachers are totally stressed out right now. There's so much happening. You never know what you're going to do from one day to the next. Um, and just working with Jim, I've been a big fan of his for a while. So this has been a dream to finally work with him. And, uh, oh, my gosh, and everyone, Calvin and Marcus, oh, my gosh. And not being in the same room with them was just devastating. Or the, or the same one. You're about 3,000 miles between you two? Or? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but that's my husband. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I know. Yeah. I know. So, we were talking, when we talked with Calvin, uh, you know, also about, uh, not being with anyone in person, but you guys make it so believable that um, that that you're in the same room. It's just a, yeah. it's really a, a credit. And, I mean, and Jim, so I know you were really excited about this casting. Um, when the, uh, so talk a little bit about um, your thoughts when Darlene signed on to do the project. I just did a bunch of backflips when she said she'd do it because I wanted to, I, Darlene, I wanted to work with you for more than 15 years. You know, <laughs> since I first saw you, uh, what's, what's wonderful about Darlene is she's a triple threat. She's a fantastic actor, but she's also an amazing singer and a great dancer as well. So, I mean, she can, you need someone to get something done on stage or in a movie. You just kind of go, yeah, uh, Darlene, here, uh, pull this out of your toolkit and she'll be able to do it. It's gorgeous. I remember, I think the first time I saw you on stage may have been your Blonde Ambition Tour. 
Uh, oh, right. Forever Blonde. Forever yeah. Blonde. There we go. Yeah. <laughs> you came on this huge blonde wig and danced your butt off and sang your lungs out. And it was absolutely extraordinary. It was in, in Provincetown where you live. It was, it was absolutely mm -hmm. extraordinary. That was one of my favorite shows that I've done. Yeah, that was an incredible show. Pre pretty much a one woman show. And I had eight backup dancers wow. and a lot of blonde wigs. <laughs> where, did you, where, where did you perform it, Darlene? Um, I did that at the Provincetown Inn and we ran that for three years consecutively. Is that at the end of the... Uh, all the way oh, yeah. up. The well, what a room. wonderful room. Oh yeah. my God. It was an incredible room. And um, my... And you killed it. <laughs> Guy who produced the show he built the stage there uh, he made all the costumes and his partner choreographed everything and designed the costumes and they brought them all from mexico my dancers were all from mexico and oh my god it, it was yeah. quite a show that's incredible and you know another thing i love about a project like teacher of the year as you said because people who know you from that will that this is the opposite Exactly. You know, and so uh, yeah, and, and I just, um, uh, I, I really, um, I, I believe that as people start getting into the story uh, unfolding, that the word of mouth of, of this will just continue to spread. And, and I can't wait for as many people as possible to start tuning in. Um, and to remind everyone who's watching this that you can buy a ticket during any point in the show that runs up through July 2nd, 3rd, uh, and you'll be able to catch up on any episode, watch them as many times as you want. And um, uh, one, so one final question that I have, uh, I'll ask both of you, and uh, I'll start with Darlene, well, I'll start with Jim and then Darlene can, can go last. Um, what, if there's like one thing that you really hope people will take away from this after watching it, um, what, what would that be? Uh, perseverance or perseverance, depending on which part of the Atlantic you're from, right? Uh, that uh, it's, it's, it's an interesting, Annie's life basically is, she's almost like Job, you know, just things keep on going wrong, just like everything kept on going wrong this last year for, for everyone. And I really wanted this show to reflect life, but the idea behind it is that there is, if we all get together, there's, there's hope at the end. So there is a, a little bit of, there is a, a nice catharsis that, uh, that I won't say any more about that because I don't want to give anything away. Darlene. <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah, exactly. Exactly. And Darlene, how about you? Yeah, I would say pretty much the same thing, you know, just stay strong. Don't give up, you know, lean on your friends and your family when you're feeling like you're losing it. I mean, it's been rough. I'm sure we've all gone through the emotional roller coaster that this past year has been. And it's been really helpful to have friends and family. You can even just call on the phone or video chat. I mean, we've recently gotten on Twitch, which was a gaming app, which has turned into like a place where... DJs all over the world go and spin. We've made friends on that and just having that has helped. So just, you know, do whatever you need to need to do to keep it together, but just don't give up, persevere. <laughs> I love that. And, and I will uh, say that um, really feeling like we're kind of through it uh, the past few weeks, we, you know, uh, people have started really coming out and, and with the masks off and we're not spiking. I'm looking at this as like, holy crap. The, the mirror that teacher of the year is on a year of so many levels and especially going back to the early parts of it uh, is just so brilliantly done. And I think will uh, will be a documentation of uh, one of the most important periods of, uh, of our country ever. Um, yeah. So I, I think it's really, really profound and, and cathartic. Uh, for me, it has been anyway. And, and again, Darlene, thank you so much for talking with us. And I love your performance is Sheila so much. It's oh, thank great, you great, so great. much. And, oh, I uh, yeah, we'll see everyone um, um, around. Thank you. Okay.